assume that a moving charge gives rise to a magnetic field. We, we saw that using when you've got a current going through a conductor and you put a magnet, it causes the, the magnet, the magnet causes the, the wire to move. Now we have here draw magnetic field patterns due to currents and uh, for this I'm going to use the PowerPoint. Now the PowerPoints are quite good with this. Um, there's a lot of information on them. So we basically have this, this notation. Um, if we have the current into the page, now the way that this is done or the, the, the notation that is used for this is that we use a circle with a, a cross in it like that and that is the notation that is used for showing that a current is going into the board or away from you. So you can imagine here you've got a, a wire sticking out of the board like that and your current is going into the board there. That's the idea there with your, um, this is the idea here with the cross and it's showing like that. Now, this magnetic field that is produced here, this magnetic field is, it seems to be circular. The arrow is given in the direction that a compass would point at that, at that point. So those are the direction of the arrows. And as you can see, uh, it's not so done in such a marked way, but these, the gaps between these circles over here should actually increase because the, the closeness of those lines, those magnetic field lines to each other, gives an indication of the strength of the magnetic field. So as you go further away from the center, as you go further away from the, from the current, your magnetic field is actually decreasing and so you have your lines will get further and further apart. So that's if it's going and the current is going into the page we use this notation. If it's coming um, if it's coming out of the page, now the current is coming out of the page um, we use the idea of a dot with a circle around and the same thing. But now we use our thumb in the direction of the of the current our curled fingers in the direction of the magnetic field lines using the right hand thumb direction of the current curled fingers show the direction of the magnetic field again the arrows are showing the direction that a, that a compass would point okay any questions on that now uh, we the easy way to remember the way that I I was taught by my teacher years ago and um, is, is the idea of a dart that if you throw a dart, if it's going away from you, you see the cross. Going away from you, if it's coming towards you, you would see the point first. All right, so that will, so the, the dot is showing the current is going towards you or it's coming towards you, and the cross is showing that it's going away. And remember, your rule is you use the, the right hand thumb in the direction of the current and your curled fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. And this current, this current is I and it's conventional conventional current. It's going from positive to negative. All right. That's a positive there. Positive to negative. Now what I want to, to show you is now why is it that when we had the two currents going parallel to each other that it caused them uh, to repel. Remember when you had the two currents parallel um, we had this situation over here where they were being repelled. Why is it that we had that situation there? And um, okay, we're gonna. I'm going to. I'm going to show you now. All right. So here's. Um, just want to get some board space here. Um, so just imagine we've got. We've got. We're going to be looking down at two wires. One is where the current is going into the board and one is where the current is going out of the board. Okay, so we've got that situation there. Both of them will produce um, magnetic fields. So we'd have the magnetic field of one will be circular like this. And then we use our right hand rule to show the direction. So the right hand, it's going into the board, the current. So the curled fingers 
of the right hand in the direction of the magnetic field, we're going to have it doing this. Something like that. It's going to be going clockwise. Now, for this one over here, I'll do it in blue. We've got our magnetic field lines again. But now our current is coming out of the board. So thumb in the direction of the current, curled fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. So like that, curled fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. Um, and we are getting, as you can see, um, we are getting a crossing over or a building up of the magnetic field in the center between here. Can you see here that the magnetic field lines are going in the same direction? So we actually get a strengthening of the magnetic field in the middle. If I actually had a look, took one of these magnetic field lines and I took it on to the other side. So let's say we looked at something like this for this one. I'm looking at now for my um, current that's going into the board. If it was looked at that, you see that it's opposing on the outside. So there's actually be a, a bit of a weakening here on, on the other side, but a strengthening here. And it acts like as a as a force, this magnetic field strengthening, being strong in one place and the other, pushes the two wires apart. That causes a force on both of them like that, a force of repulsion. Okay. So the magnetic fields do add together, yes. They, the, the force of the magnetic field strengthens in between. It's weaker on the outside, and so that magnetic pressure um, causes the, the conductors to, to repel. So there's no, like, or... Not in this case, but if I had a look at, if, I have a, if you've seen that, let me just have a look at the case where they're both going in the same direction. So let's say we've got two conductors again out but now the current is both going in the same direction all right so again I've got my magnetic field lines well let's just, let's just have a look and see we can we can also do it here we can set it up that we can we can actually do it all right so now it's coming out of the board all right so thumb in the direction of the current right hand Cold fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. So it's going to be anti-clockwise there. For this one, curled fingers, direction of magnetic field, thumb in the direction of the current. We're going again anti-clockwise. But here in the middle, you can see that your magnetic field of the one is going the opposite direction. So in the middle here, we're getting a weakening. We're getting a weakening of the magnetic field. B is we call for field. So we're getting a weakening of the magnetic field in between the two conductors. And in actual fact, there will if we, we sent this one of these around to this side from there, if we send one around like there from this conductor here. Um, we would have that. You see on the outside, you'd actually get a slight strengthening. So this actually causes it, causes it to move together. We have a force of attraction between these conductors. So when the, when, the, when the currents are going in the same direction, we get attraction between the wires. And when they're going in the other direction, opposite direction, we get repulsion happening. 